Hi, it's April 9th. I'm Mike Stanton. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Brian, thank you for taking some time. Uh, relatively quiet uh, week in the markets. We continue to see strong uh, performance across the fixed income markets. Uh, a lot of demand for munis, not a huge amount of supply. Why don't you take us through what you saw? Sure. This week was uh, was a little, you know, a little choppy up and down, but uh, but directionally yields definitely, uh, you know, inched lower a little bit, uh, probably about seven basis points or so uh, on the week, um, you know, from about a 172 last Friday on the 10 year to about a 165 right now uh, as we're shooting this video. And that's with a little bit of a weaker tone this morning. Um, so, uh, you know, we hit a low of, I think, uh, around a 162 or so this week. Um, so, you know, the, the market was really focused on a couple of macro headlines, um, some economic numbers. Uh, on Tuesday, uh, we got the Fed meeting minutes from the March, uh, from the March meeting, um, where, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the tone was uh, a little bit more cautious that uh, stimulus could have a little more of an expansionary uh, impact on the economy. Uh, so that was something to watch. Um, but that was followed up on Wednesday uh, by comments from uh, Fed Chair Powell uh, at a, a virtual event um, where you know he stated that uh, that central banks need to continue uh, to support economies and they will continue to do so. So, um, you know, a little bit of a uh, back and forth. Uh, equities uh, continue to reach uh, all time highs. Um, so, you know, a lot of a lot of back and forth in the market uh, more broadly. Um, on the muni side, uh, we continue to press ahead. You know, um, uh, muni yields followed treasuries down a little bit, most notably on Thursday. Uh, there was a pretty good leg down in the MMD curve. Um, and that really, you know, kind of came amidst a, a relatively quiet week. Uh, supply did come in a little bit ahead of expectations. They get topped out around 10.2 billion or so. Um, and really kind of one of the bigger headlines in our space was uh, another 2.1 billion of inflows into tax exempt bond funds, uh, including, uh, I think it was about 800 or 820 into high yield funds. So, you know, we're definitely seeing uh, as news continues to uh, attract headlines about fiscal stimulus and, and positive credit momentum, along, as well as, uh, you know, the potential for tax hikes to, to pay for the stimulus. Um, all of that just continues to make munis uh, that much more attractive. So, uh, so yields did uh, did like down a little bit, but um, but overall it was it was a pretty constructive week. Um, ten po like I said, ten point two billion priced um, for BAM. We had uh, over three hundred and fifty million in the market. Um, we continue to see a trend for higher education deals getting done. Um, BAM was active in that space this week. We insured almost one hundred and fifty million for Northern Kentucky University. Uh, which is A1 rated, and that was uh, a negotiated deal by Morgan Stanley, uh, and that was also taxable. Uh, we also insured a total of about $100 million for Connecticut State University System, which is AA3 A rated underlying. Uh, that was two competitive sales, uh, about $85 million taxables purchased by JP Morgan, uh, and $15 million uh, tax exempts per purchased by Bank of New York. Uh, away from that, uh, we were also selected on 21 million uh, competitive sale for Binghamton, New York, uh, which was A2 underlying rated and purchased by uh, by Roosevelt and Cross. Next week, uh, the calendar looks uh, a little bit lighter. What uh, are you expecting to see? Yeah, next week slows down. Uh, supply should dip back below eight uh, eight billion, uh, so uh, gets back under um, gets back under average. Um, you know, a little bit lighter uh, across the board. There's, uh, you know, there actually is, um, you know, although it is a lighter calendar, uh, taxable supply does tick back up um, to about 35%, 35 or 36% of supply. So there's a decent amount of taxable activity. Um, but uh, at uh, right around 7.7 .7 billion, it should be a, a fairly quiet week. Um, we've got about 100 to 150 uh, million or so that's uh, scheduled to price. Some of the highlights there are about 37 million for Cloverleaf School District COPs in Ohio. Uh, that's a negotiated deal priced by R.W. Baird. 
Uh, we've also got 28 million for San Leandro USD in California, uh, which is going to be priced by Piper, and 27 million Inglewood USD uh, in California, which is going to be priced by Steeple. Uh, the competitive market next week is uh, is pretty decent um, at almost two billion. Um, so we'll, we're uh, we're expecting to have lots of uh, lots of bids out on the competitive side and, and hope to see some good activity there. Great, and uh, you know normally the week of uh, April fifteenth would be a little uh, a time of uh, a little bit of nervousness in the muni market with people uh, withdrawing from the muni accounts to help make their federal tax bills. That's not happening this year. Uh, the federal government obviously <laughs> pushed back the due date for tax bills uh, by a month. Uh, so people are going to have to recalibrate some of their expectations, but uh, we'll see how that plays out over the next 30 days. So thank you for uh, your time here, Brian, and uh, we'll talk to you next week. Great. Thanks, Mike. When the market is unpredictable, bam gives you certainty. In the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, and adding BAM insured municipal bonds to your portfolio is easy. Talk to your investment advisor, visit buildamerica.com, or look for BAM eligible bonds on the Perform Portfolio Management System. BAM. Build America Mutual.